Rocket Rios MK Pro finally out. It's uh, October 16th. Just got this today. I ordered it on Friday last week, I think. So, uh, yeah, the box is huge. It's way bigger than any keyboard box I've ever bought. So they have this plastic wrap on here again to protect the uh, box uh, in transit, which is a, again a nice touch and uh, similar to what they did with the Rocket mouse. Uh, and then beautiful, nice box. Uh, brown switches, Cherry MX brown switches. You can get these in black, brown, red, and blue. Uh, I've used all of those and I've decided to go with the brown. Look at the back. Again, really high quality packaging from Rock Hat. I love the stuff they've done. I love that UV coating. Gives you all the marketing mumbo jumbo. You can get all of this stuff pretty easily. Uh, there's the Cherry MX Brown. Pretty excited about this. One nice to cut there on the back. Super sweet. So again, really cool uh, packaging. They do a great job. Packaging is sure top notch. The Rios MK Pro. All right, so let's open this bad boy up. So, in uh, Santa Rocket fashion, they've got a lot of nice protection in here. Uh, the keyboard is, of course, wired. So got a nice plastic cover. Um, some other packing materials to protect uh, the glossy bits on the keyboard. Um, here that it is cherry brown. Very excited to try out a proper gaming keyboard with cherry brown switches. The board itself, nice braided cables, uh, USB pass-through, stereo headphones, headphones go there, two USB pass-throughs there. And then inside, just your standard uh, installation guide, and that's it. First power up out of the box. So there you go, that's what the keyboard looks like. Uh, it's set up with WASD and the arrow keys lit up. So some of the uh, options that you've got, changing lighting is this ripple effect. So you'll see that as I hit keys, it's kind of obnoxious. Uh, the other one you have is fade. For any of the keys that are active or unactive, it'll fade. You can kind of see where you've typed. Again, kind of neat. Don't know if it's really necessary. Now you have some of the standard things where you can change this function key into a Windows key if you want. Uh, you can disable through software the Windows keys, although with Windows 8, that Windows key is actually pretty functional. Uh, and then, of course, you can set all the macro keys uh, and record macros. You can do that live using the function in F12. There's a ton of um, configuration options. And then, of course, you can do per key illumination. So some other really nice features. This wrist rest feels really good. Um, it's kind of a flat, uh, a matte black finish. Um, so it seems like it'll be pretty finger resistant. There's some of this glossy black, uh, these glossy black elements throughout the keyboard, which I think are gonna be problematic and pick up dirt and fingerprints quite a bit. Uh, just from my experience with the Rocket Cone uh, XCD mouse, that's got some pretty similar um, plastic on it. Uh, that's not too bad, but it does uh, it does require cleaning. Um, some of the other features on this keyboard, these thumbster keys right here. Uh, these things, uh, you can set them up to do customized stuff and 
basically uh, also act as another key. So I'll uh, be trying those out uh, and see how I can customize that stuff. Thanks for checking out this mini review and unboxing of the Rios MK Pro keyboard. Uh, it's good to know that it's finally out there. Uh, it's been quite some time coming, so uh, hopefully you guys can get your hands on one if you're interested. I will say that the build quality of this thing is great. I love that the uh, I love the wrist rest that's on here. That's a welcome addition to the mechanical keyboards that I've been using. Um, and all of the customization options, the per key lighting, uh, all of that stuff is gonna just you know take some time to get everything right, get it all set up for the different games that I want to play. But uh, really looking forward to putting this through the paces uh, with Battlefield 4 in just a couple weeks. Thanks. Shut up! Well, uh, no, no, no. Come on, cat. This is not really... Jesus. And there's my cat. Get down! Get down! That does require cleaning. Hey, there's a cat. Cat, get down! Come on!